so it, today is the 1st of Feb and it is a nice day it's very windy so today I'm going to be sorting this out I'm going to use bricks in here as beds because one of the downfalls of having them outside was my little lad going on his bike and he used to up and down the paths and knocked them everywhere but he's not going to have his bike in here so hopefully that'll be good plus it uses them up and then plus I don't have to buy wood or beds or anything so there we go so the plan is two foot two foot path two four foot beds um I'm going to dig all the oh flap down then I'm going to dig all the um, big weeds out but luckily enough for us Rob can get pallet covers they're just big pieces of cardboard so I'm going to dig the persistent weeds out nettles and such like and then I'm just going to put the cardboard down in the beds and it's going to have lots of muck in it so that's the plan i have to start moving all the bricks in I've found something more destructive than slugs, cabbage white, rats and definitely the potential to be more annoying than bindweed, cooch grass and any other persistent weed you can think of. The six year old human child. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're on 8th of Feb. It's lovely out, proper, proper allotment in day. So, um, not major progress going on because last time I were here I just lost patience with it <laughs> and walked away. Best thing to do sometimes. So we've got to change the plan. The original plan was to put the beds like all the way up like that. So obviously you need something against the plastic so the soil don't you know push the sides out. Um but doing these bricks has just drove me insane. And I don't think I've got the patience to do all of it, like, all the way around. So the plan now is to do panelling here, wood, just to hold the soil in from the beds. Um, and that's going to be all the way around. And the bricks are being used just to outline the path, just to use a few up. So, there's the plan. Because, as well, it's, it's the um, my plot's sort of lopsided. It's it's like perfect there, you know, just whack the bricks down, we're on a roll. But then you get up to the top and it goes it goes slopes up. So to get the bricks level, I'm having to dig um I don't know, two maybe three feet down. And to do that all the way round God, I think it took me till well, June. <laughs> so that's the plan. We've just made it simpler. It's gonna be it's gonna look the same. It's just simpler for us to do so I'll be back when there's any more progress you're working hard or hardly working <laughs> Leo helping me to weed <laughs> he's had some new garden gloves and so is the chief weeder <laughs> Are you having fun? Dad, how can you pull these weeds out? Oh, thank you. Well, just a bit of an update. Two sides are done. I was a bit worried about how I was going to fill these beds, but the amount I'm taking down for the path, I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem. So that's so far. I'm shaking. <laughs> there we go. It's getting a bit windy because I believe we've got a big storm on its way to sometime tonight, tomorrow. So after all this, if my polytunnel blows away, I'm not going to be very amused. <laughs> so there it is. The sides are finished. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> It's a lot faster than doing the bricks, that's for sure. 
so you can sort of see a visual of what I'm thinking there which these bricks here that's the path and they're gonna come all the way down and then maybe like I say two three four I'm not sure yet but there you go Thank goodness that is done Rubs are good in. I'm sat in a freezing cold polytunnel in my beautiful flowery wellies, freezing, covered in mud, wondering why I just don't use a supermarket. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so I'm calling it a, a day to now. Nah, I'm done. It's all gone good. It's good, good. So I'm going to put at the end of this um, an update, um, sorry not an update, a plot tour, that's what I'm doing. It's only, it's only a quick one but because there's not really much to see. So here it is now. Well it's now February already so I thought I'd do a bit of a plot tour so it's not masses to see but like again it's good, it's good to document the progress i say progress too much quails they're doing lovely still have no legs but again they're not getting enough light that's probably why so they're happy shut that off because they will fly away otherwise so this is the shed this is for the quails and I always dread opening the door in case I see a load of rats or mice run out of it. <laughs> so I've got to get a proper container. <laughs> so we'll go out to the chill area. Still need to sort in the bath. What we got going on on the bed? The lavender looks like it's still doing well. And the plum tree. I planted loads of bulbs in here and I've got no, no signs yet. Rubbish. Definitely needs a good clear up but... We've got a storm tonight, so that'll probably do it. Look, we have signs of colour. Crocus, I believe. I thought my blueberries were dead, but nope. We've got, again, side of signs of buds coming, so I'm going to try and find a permanent place for those. Plenty of bulbs coming up again. Down here. Pond. I don't think there's actually anything living in that. But we'll see. Pile of rocks. Hopefully, aren't going to be there much longer. Do an update on the chickens, which now they're being let out are doing lovely. <clears throat> We've got Jack and Vera just there. Little lavender. This is a Polish. His name's um, Mo, as in Mohican. Or mohawk <laughs> I believe that's a mill flare her name's splash and we've got splotch next to her this is chickenski oi get in there you they do, they, I, I still think these are so comical with here there we go I've got nothing for you sorry so they're the chickens update, they're doing fab. We've had a, I think we've had two eggs, so they are starting. I'll just shut that door because we've got one this time to get out. Still got to dig in the green manure to go for the beds. Um, the raspberries, no change there, they still just look like twigs. The poly polytunnel, that's the work in progress at the moment. So I'm not going to take you in there. And then up to Leo's play area. We've got some strawberries sown for the, the, the little um, wild alpine ones. So that's all right. Daffodils. Leo's daffodil bed. Oh. It's come out brilliant in that quail poop. So yeah, what, what we're planning to do with Leo's beds is put things in that you can just make yourself. So if he gets hungry, he jumps up, jumps off his swing, down to his bed, pick a few strawberries, have a munch. And that's it. 
So there we are. This is a February update. There we go. Just walk you down. Got a good walk through. I like looking at it like you know when you come to May, June, July and it's all looking lovely and you look back and you think wow oh, I do love these chickens <laughs> so there I'm hoping to have lots more colour down here definitely needs a good tidy up with compost bags blown everywhere and hops still dead or dormant So there we go, quick update, like I say, not really much, that's Jack Jack, not really much to report on really, I've got Rob doing my polytunnel because it was stressing me out. <laughs> okay, we heard ya, there, that's it, and then back to the shed, and the quails. Oh, fab so yeah i'll see you next time then bye